Hello my Sock Universe, by the time that this video posts I'm really hoping I've gotten through the worst in terms of my computer breaking down and all that kind of stuff and I will resume some normal video making schedule. Sorry, it has been a little bit rare and has been very short related but that's the easiest I could do because I'm a little bit hampered at the moment and I might be for a little bit as well. However, not everything is bad because this is an unpacking video and I found a really, really special shirt in a really crappy packaging. The seller just took a paper bag and wrapped it in there. But this is actually quite a special shirt. First of all, it's one of the direct um, fake replacements. You know, when I made a couple of years ago, I laid out all my fake jerseys that I wanted to sell at the, at, at the time. This one I had a fake of really really happy to have it in addition while of this team i don't at the moment not necessarily need a shirt i think i have everything that i need uh it is one of those really emotional shirts a moment that i will remember for a very very long time uh and i think this i'm not the only one that it is it's an absolute classic premier league shirt an absolute classic Premier League shirt and so I'm really happy to have it. What I'm even happy is I found it on Wilhaben. I think originally it was selling around 30 which already would have been a really cool price. Seller so kept dropping it down and I, I remember yes I was already kind of sort of out of you know I shouldn't buy anything anymore uh, but then I saw it drop to 15 and I told my wife um, cutie if I don't buy this right now I will regret this forever. She didn't even say anything, she just agreed with it. Yes, I know, I know, I'm really bad uh, with that budget stuff, but at least, you know, yeah, it's a <laughs> target value target that gets over overshot slightly every month. So yeah, not proud of that one either, but I guess, I guess slash I hope it will not, some austerity may or may not come. Let's open up the parcel to see or to show you what a special jersey I got here. Okay, this opening just got a whole lot funnier and more interesting. Um, inside of this is an egg carton. No, I did not buy eggs. Hmm, there's some light blue coming through. That's the weirdest packaging I've ever, ever, ever seen. But let's open it up. This one feels right, this one is right, it is an original and I am really, really, really happy with that, despite the egg carton. I think I've teased it enough, light blue in the Premier League, who could that be? Well, let me just say one thing, Aguero! It's the title win, the, f the first title win under the Etihad uh, period of Manchester City with the famous last day of the season where Manchester City won the title basically in the last second by scoring two stoppage and goals. I think it was Aguero and, uh, that scored the winner. I think it was Balotelli that got the goal before uh, against Queen's Park Rangers with the really interesting color, uh, you know, with the checkerboard pattern. Uh, and then, I mean, it's not a, I don't want to say not an outstanding design, but it's a curious design because it's not really plain. There's a lot of uh, dots here, 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 and there. The crest, yes, I wanted to have this crest um, with the three stars in full color. Now it is proper dimensions, not so squished. Um, the three stars, this is the one thing that always got me. It's purely decorative. And you know, in footballing terms, stars always should mean something. Uh, it is one of those tailored by Umbro and it is a blank on the back, but you know, for 15, what more would you expect? Ah, before I hang it up, one final detail on the inside label here. There is blue moon with a sound wave, I guess. Uh, this is one of 
So here's the shirt in all its glory. Here is the other shirt that I have from this period. That was actually my first Manchester City home jersey. Where, although I do like it, I actually like the white color a little bit better. I also like the full color crest here with the kind of black and white crest. It's always look a teeny bit weird to me. This one has the bonus, it has David Silva on the back. This one is a black. However, to me, this is the more classy jersey. Um, so yeah, uh, given that I have also a home jersey from 1819, um, I might actually let go potentially of this one. Let's see about that. But let's focus on this beauty here. Uh, as I said, I for me, Manchester City, the light blue should always come with a little bit of white. And I think the, uh, this jersey achieves this really, really well. Uh, the dot pattern and it's all kind of, uh, you know, it's not all equal dots. They are in different strengths, which make it actually quite interesting to look at. And as we said, the checkerboard pattern on, on the color mix makes off a really, really interesting to look at shirt. As I said, it has the memory attached to it. It also, since it's tailored by Umber, it has this really interesting, almost cloth-like fabric pattern, which is really, really, really cool. I will probably use this as a stand-in for Manchester City jerseys for the rest of the season because I think this season they also have this white collar. So this world is quite uh, nice, although it does not have the same crest, but you know, who cares. That's how I feel like doing. In any case, please let me know what you think about this jer jersey. Should I really let go of this one? Let's see. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and see more. And I'll hopefully we'll be back with way more videos than I've been releasing recently soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!